Today, we're gonna see how to build a shop where you can spend your coins to buy new skins and use the selected one in your game. Before diving into the scripts, let's have a quick overview of our UI. So we have a simple canvas with a panel, a couple text and an image. This would be our selected skin. And then we have a prefab five times, one for each of our skins. That is a button, so you can select your skin. There is another button to buy a skin and a cost text that will display the cost of the selected skin. So the first script I'm going to show you is the definition of a skin. In our case, it's not a mono behavior, but a simple class that declares a cost and a sprite. Don't forget to add system.serializable so that we can reference to it from the inspector. The next script is our scheme manager. As you can see, it's once again not a mono behavior, but in this case, it's a scriptable object. You can see this scriptable object as a single instance of an object that can be used to store some data you may need from multiple places in your game. For example, in the game scene, where the right sprite has to be shown. So, if we keep track of all of our skins in this array, every other game object referencing to this scriptable object has all the info it needs to handle our skins. Here, you can find two strings, prefix and selected skin. We're just gonna use that to avoid typos while accessing to our player prefs. So, let's give some logic to our skin manager. First of all, we want to be able to select a skin. We can do that by passing the index of our skins array and setting it to our player preps under selected skin. Then we might need to get info about the selected skin. All we need to do is to read the selected skin value and if the index is a valid one for our array, we can just return the skin at that index, null otherwise. When we press the buy button on the shop, we need to unlock the skin. We can do that just by adding the skin index to our player prefs with a prefix so that we don't just put a number and give it the value of 1. That usually means true. The last responsibility of our skin manager is to let everyone know if a skin is unlocked or not. You only need to check if that skin is on our player prefs with the value of 1 and then return the result, whether it's true or false. Before switching to Unity for a moment, let's make sure that our scheme manager has the create asset menu tag so that we can find it from the editor. If you did that right, you'll find your scheme manager under the create menu. You can create one and you'll find an empty array of skins. It is exactly the array we just defined in our class. You can now set the size of your skins array to 5 and see that each element has a cost and a sprite as we define in the skin class. Now let's fill the data with our sprites and assign them a cost for the shop. The skin shop item script is responsible of the logic for each selectable skin in the shop. This time we finally have a mono behavior with four serialized fields that have to be set from the editor. A reference to our skin manager, the index of the skin that will be handled in this specific item and UI references to the buy button and the cost text. The skin field is private as we don't really need to assign it from the editor. It is in fact our very first instruction of our start method and just takes a skin from our skin array at the skin index defined in the editor. Then we need to make sure that display sprite is the right one and check if the skin is already unlocked. If yes, we just remove the buy button, otherwise we make sure it is visible and the text show the skin cost. Now let's add some logic to the two buttons that we have. First, if we click or tap on a sprite, only if it is unlocked, we want to set it as the selected one. Then we need to define how a skin is bought. First of all, we should read our coin balance from player preps. If we have enough coins and the skin is not unlocked yet, we can proceed. Coins are deducted from our balance in the amount of the skin cost. Skin manager unlocks our skin, the buy button disappears and we select the new skin, yay! Our final script is the shop controller. That's a super simple mono behavior that only defines the update method 
to make sure that displayed coins balance is always up to date and the sprite in the middle of the screen shows in fact the selected skin. And that's all. We can now jump on the editor and start creating our UI. First of all, we need a panel in a canvas, set alpha to 100% and add an aspect background image. Let's go quick on this sequence as I'm really just setting up some basic UI, so a couple elements just to display the coin balance and a preview of the selected skin. Easy peasy. In the meantime, did you know I recently released an app on Play Store featuring the cool sprites I'm using now in this video? Go check it out! The links to Play Store and DJIO are in the description down below. And now comes the fun part, the skin selector. Let's start with a button, assign it to a sprite, set the proper size, and finally give it a proper name on the hierarchy. Ok, we can get rid of the text and replace it with another button, that would be our Y button, and rename it. Let's position it properly and give it a nice blue button, a fitting size, and a white text so we can read it. Done? Ok, it's time to assign this game object our skin shop item script. And we can already assign the serialize field, so the skin manager, the buy button, and the text. Let's also add the onclick method on the main button, so we can select a skin. Same goes for the buy button, so that we can buy a skin when we press it. We can do that by referencing to the functions we previously defined in the script. We will also need an empty game object to place our shop controller script. We can reference to the selected skin, the cons text, and once again our skin manager. Next, let's create a prefab out of our shop item and duplicate it 4 times to cover all of our 5 skins. We can now assign each item a skin index to reference of each of our skins and that's all for now. If we hit play on the editor, we will already see some kind of magic. All those sprites have been replaced as intended. Nice! The final step is to make sure our player, driven by the player script, knows which skin to display. How can we do that? It's really easy. Just head to the player script, add a new serialized field, private skin manager, skin manager, and on the start function, just find the component. Sprite renderer and make sure it's sprite is the skin manager that gets selected skin dot sprite and that's it. Let's get back to Unity. We have to reference our skin manager. Okay, now it's really ready. Let's do some play testing. First of all, we need to collect some coins. We can do that real quick. Then go back to the main menu and finally to our shop. We have enough coins to get the yellow skin and mm, also the pink. Now let's see if the game uses the right sprite. Yeah, indeed it does. And that's it for today. 
Thank you for sticking out until the end of the video. I really hope you find it useful and it can help you building your dream game. Feel free to hit like, subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more videos like that in the future. This was my first tutorial and I had a lot of fun recording it and I definitely want to do more. So I'd be really really happy to hear from you any feedback. Thank you again and see you in the next video.